It's Ports of Call Waterfront Dining, award-winning service and cuisine with a view of the dynamic L.A. Harbor from every seat. For reservations and directions, visit portsofcalldining.com or call 310-833-3553. studio the z spot how y'all doing um we're here having a good time marla white hi everybody thanks for joining us today yes we have some great uh we have four shows we're taping for you right now that are going to be available on itunes through the la radio studio their podcast we're very excited about doing these short shows with lots of information on them and this is our our third time in the studio we've got five shows under our belt one nice long concert and four short podcasts and today we are going to be talking about the rams in some way or another and why the rams marla oh my god let me just tell you the la rams coming back i mean the rams coming back to la is a huge thing i mean we haven't had a football team here for a very long time and you know they were here And the great thing about the Rams, I think, is we're coming back to a city that is so powerful within the NBA, so powerful within hockey, which we'll be talking about later. Oh, my God. Go Kings. Kings in 2017. I think she likes sports. Uh, You know what? I really don't. I was a one sport chick (laughs) until the Rams came home. And let me tell you why. When I was little, uh, we had a neighbor who was on the original L.A. Rams team, 1966 to 1970, Maxie Bond, number 55. He was our neighbor. He lived near us. And so it was a big deal for my parents, you know. And so that was my association with the Rams. And so when they came back to L.A., my first thought were these childhood memories of going to school with his son and um, just remembering my dad, you know, how great it was that Maxie Bond was a neighbor and that, you know, we were fans. And and so the first thing I thought was, I have to track this guy down. Right. And Absolutely. I have to find out where he is and what he's been doing. And um, a friend of mine, a very good friend of mine, tracked him down, got his number. And I spoke with him and his lovely wife. And they have agreed to join us today. And so we will be speaking with Mr. Bond. I'm super excited to find out what uh, what how his time with the Rams was, what you know he went through, and how he feels about the Rams coming back. So I think we have him online. Mr. Bond? Yes. I'm oh, here. <laughs> hello. Welcome. Thank you so much. I'm so thrilled that, that you're here and we're talking to you, number 55. I'm so excited. Thank you again for joining us today. I really appreciate it. Well, thank you. It's my pleasure. Oh, well, my first question, um, as I mentioned when we spoke, is how did you feel when you were on the Rams? You were with the Rams um, four seasons, and I know during that time, um, I think that you won four Pro Bowls, if I'm correct. I know that you won nine total, but four were during your time um, with the Rams, 66 to 70. Can you tell us just a little bit about how that time was for you and what it meant to be on the team? Well, I was traded to the Rams from the Philadelphia Eagles. Right. Uh-huh. And uh, I... George Allen was, was traded. Uh, George Allen uh, t- traded for me, and uh, I, I have kind of always been a uh, a player that uh, went by the book. Mm-hmm. And uh, George Allen was a coach that went by the book. Yes, sir. So uh, it, it just fit, just perfect. Yeah, and uh, to have. Guys like uh, uh, Merlin and Deacon and yeah, Lamar Deacon, Lundy yeah. and Roosevelt Greer playing Amazing. in front of you uh, made it a heck of a lot easier. <laughs> it must have been an amazing experience. I, I have to say, you know, I don't know much about football, but what I do know is when you talk about amazing linebackers, you are the first name that comes to mind. And when you talk about pro football and one of the best linebackers in the business, that would be you, sir. And I know that um, I think you were quoted one time as stating, um, Coach Allen, George Allen, that you learned more about the game during that time with him. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Was it, it you guys used to watch game plays back together, true? That's well, how you guys bonded? Well, every, every, every day early, uh, we had a, meetings at nine o'clock 
<laughs> but, uh, I always uh, went up to his office, and he and I were, would watch film and go over the game plan on what we wanted to do in certain situations, and and we did that every day. Wow. And then uh, when, uh, I'll tell you a funny story. Uh, one time, uh, the phone rang at 3 o'clock in the morning. And uh, Diane said, uh, "Don't, don't open, don't answer that." And I said, "Honey, it's got to be George." <laughs> and uh, uh, sure enough, it was him. And he told me about a situation that came up. We wanted to to audibleize to uh, a defense and and uh, change the play. And he said, "This is this is so good that we can get an interception." And I said, "Yeah." We have it so that Irv will come up and, and get the interception. He said, oh, no, 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 no. He said, I want you to intercept him. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, uh, sure enough, uh, we we practiced it, uh, and we, we came uh, uh, game time. Uh, it, it, uh, the situation came up perfect, and... Uh, uh, I, I intercepted it and uh, ran it back about. It was a long way, 50 yards. Wow! Like wow! I couldn't hardly, I couldn't hardly walk 50 yards <laughs> now. But, but any, anyway, it uh, uh, it was so 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 big a, a thing that uh, George, when I came off of the field after the interception, is usually a, a big thing for the defense. But when when I came off the field. He didn't even look at me. Oh. He, he, he expected me to intercept that ball. Oh, yeah. He, it, there wasn't no if saying. There's no question. Or anything <laughs> about it. He expected me to, to, to uh, intercept it. And then uh, then the, the first time I saw him, he walked up to me. He said, so what? <laughs> that, 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 was his. that ain't no thing. Yeah. He said, we, we had that one. <laughs> So. And you did. You did. Well, my gosh, Mr. Bond, I can't tell you what an honor it is. Can I? And I think it's so funny. I just just as a side note, I think it's so funny that you said audibleization. Audible. It's a new word that I learned Saturday. Um, audible change in play, which I think I'm just going to like take into my life. And I'm just going to go along in life and I'm just going to say I'm going to call an audible. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to change things in my life going forward. But that's just a side note. That's um, great. I wanted to um, ask you what you think about the Rams coming back. Did you watch the game on Saturday against the Cowboys? I hope you did. Uh, I did not. Oh! Uh, they, <laughs> what? I, well, you know, Marla, he did play for was, a lot of other people. It, was, too. it wasn't on up here. Oh, oh goodness. We're going to have to get that changed. Good heavens. Well, you know, they were in the Coliseum where you spent a few years, sure. and it was a beautiful thing. Let me just tell you, it was – I am not one to sit down on a Saturday and watch a football game, but I got to tell you, those boys were ready. And I was terrified the first 10 seconds when Lucky Whitehead came on that field and took that touchdown. I was like, what the hell? In like 10 seconds, I thought, oh, crap, what are we doing? And those boys came back in um, in the second – and I get these wrong. There's four quarters, second period – second – second um period i'm not really good on football just yet but they came back after the (laughs) halftime and they killed them they absolutely killed them 28 to 24 and took those boys down and i just couldn't be more proud and more thrilled and i know that we're getting this brand new stadium someday and i really don't care i was thrilled that they were in the coliseum thrilled that they were back you know where they belonged um Question for you real quick. They are playing the Kansas City Chiefs this Saturday. Um, and, uh, you know, the Chiefs were um, number two in uh, AFC West last year. What do you think about the Chiefs? What do you think What do you think our chances are? I think we're going to go two for two? I, well, I'll tell you, the, this, this time of the year, it, it's, it's, hard to, it's hard to predict anything because uh, injuries play such a big part. In, in football today, uh, true. all of a sudden, uh, you may have the the best team in the league, and then all of a sudden, uh, a week later, you may have uh, the worst team in the league because true. of injuries. True. So, uh, you know, it, it, it's, uh, it's something that uh, hopefully it doesn't happen, but uh, uh, coaches and players,
players have a, a weird way of uh, getting ready to play. They have to they have to be ready, mm. and uh, the injuries are, are part of the part of the game. You just got to uh, hopefully you can. Uh, live through them. Right, yeah. right. Hey, Maxie, this is Kelly. I'm uh, Marla's co-host. Your resume and how many teams you've played for is amazing, and it, it comes to mind a little bit. My husband grew up uh, as a Methodist preacher's son and had to move a lot, you know, every two to four years, and looks like you guys did a lot of that. How was that for the family and for you, moving around a lot? Well, it was uh, uh, it was okay with me, but my wife, uh, I'm not sure she liked it. <laughs> we had we have uh, three sons, and uh, we always had a dog. <laughs> so when she, when she, when she Good. Was, um, what kind of dog? <laughs> uh, a, a dachshund. Oh, love it. Uh, long-haired dachshund. Love it. And uh, we uh, uh, had to, I had to get an apartment, and uh, we had a house in uh, Atlanta. So okay. We, uh, during the off season, we went back to Atlanta, and the boys went to school there. But uh, during the season, they found a place to go to school, and mm-hmm. uh, they grew up on the road, I guess. Wow. Do they talk about that now, what that experience was, was like? You know, their dad was was the great Maxi Bond. Do they talk about that, what that means to them? Well, I, I, I'll tell you a funny story. Uh, uh, Jim Neighbors is a very good friend of ours, Aww. and he, he loaned me a, a Corvette Ooh. Uh, for the season. Nice. And uh, so I had the, we had a, a car uh, out there, but uh, we needed two cars. So Jim let us borrow one of his, and, and on Saturday we I took the boys to practice, and George Gosh, let them fun. Yes. Yeah, out on the field and throw the ball around a little bit. And uh, he uh, 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 he he let the boys have fun. And uh, one day I was going home, and a policeman ran, uh, pulled me over, oh, and no. the boys were in the back. And uh, uh, the policeman came up and said, uh, "Hey, Maxie, I want your autograph." <laughs> like that, and the, the boys they thought that we were going to jail. <laughs> but, so we didn't we didn't go to jail, and I gave him an autograph, and Aww. he let us go. So. Well, let me just tell you that I have your autograph as well on a photo that I still have and treasure to this day. Well, and thank you. well, it, it it was a pleasure. I you know I was in kindergarten, first and second grade when uh, when I went to school with your son, and and it's just an Awesome pleasure to have you today. I just want to thank you for joining us and taking the time. And, and can we uh, call you again as the season unfolds? Can we? Mr. Bond, could we call you again someday? Oh, sure. Oh, awesome. yay! Because <laughs> we're going to need some second. of that prediction and take it to Vegas, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, we need a pro. We need, we need a pro to talk to you for sure. But thank you. Thank you so much okay. for taking the time with us. We really appreciate sure. it. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, All Nancy. right. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Okay. What a joy, right? Yeah. What a joy. The, is he a doll? He's a total doll. And I think he's going to be the <laughs> Z-Spots him. pro football He is. He's going to be our caller. Our yes. color, co- color commentary? Yes. Is that what that's called? Couch commentary? I don't know. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, whatever right? you want whatever. to be. It's, you're the boss, Marla. <laughs> you obviously love the Rams. I do love, love the Rams. And now are a big football lover. I do love the Rams. All right. That is good. for sure. So we're going to end with the song because uh, this is what Marla wanted because the Rams are coming back to L.A. or they're here. Yes, they're here. ma'am. They are here and they're here to stay. So back to L.A. Thanks, guys. All the places that I called home It turned my world inside out Cause my eyes looked in But my heart stayed out Somewhere
Just one place that I called home. 